My name is David Avila and I'm a fashion designer from Kimbera. David Ochieng is only 24 years old, but he's changing the narrative in his home, the Kibera slum in Kenya's capital, Nairobi. He's giving out African print masks, which are handmade for free to reduce the spread of coronavirus. It's tough because not everyone here in Kibera have all the resources to do like the lockdown thing and isolate themselves from everybody because most people live to live based on hand to mouth because they have to work for it and then get money from it. He started his fashion line, Looks Like a Vido, in 2017. These days, David wants to protect his community from the pandemic. He wants to raise awareness about hygiene and reduce the spread of the coronavirus. But in poverty-stricken Kibera, it's tough to choose between spending money on hygiene or food. So how can I be able like, to buy like maybe six masks for my family to give everybody in my family to have the mask instead of buying food? So they'll be like, Food, mask, food, mask, so. In Africa's largest slum, residents live on less than a dollar a day and can't afford to stay home. An extra purchase of protective gear like the masks and the gloves is luxury. I don't know how to do it, like, sana sana an easy mask. If you easy avoid to nyumba, you have the mask. Uh, vai, yani vai every time. And apa mta shidanya tukunayo when it comes to yoku nawa na kusanitize. David Ochieng has given out over 5,000 masks since Kenya's first coronavirus case. He aims to make about 1,000 masks daily and freely distribute them in Kibera. He's giving now kuna wasewa na wana freya kukona and this is purely designed iko fiti sana man. Uh any kitu ata after e after e shit ya corona like any kitu badu neza va as a swag. David's main objective is to protect the Kibera residents. But masks do not guarantee full medical protection. But the idea though is to get people thinking about hygiene. With 700,000 people living in Kibera, the demand grows every day. I'm happy because they show me love and at least they appreciate that I'm making the mask for them because me, I'm not charging anybody for the mask. I'm just giving them out. He has trained over 17 women and teenagers to sew and stitch. When the coronavirus pandemic is over, David Ochieng wants to continue inspiring the next generation of young residents in Kibera. <laughs>